times, Neville. I wouldn't know what to say. I'll be upstairs. Mary Lennox, this is Dr. Perry, your uncle's brother. How do you do? You are to take her to her room. He doesn't want to see her. He's a very good doctor. Let it be a dream, surely it must seem like a frightful dream, no one here she knows. Shadows on the walls, dark and threatening halls, catch her if she falls, still no fear she shows. Send you and Mary away until we can get this cholera under control. And what shall I do? Wander around the hills alone without a child while she's staring at me the whole she's time. She's not staring at you. She just likes to look at you, just as we do. Good night. Yes, ma'am.
Messiah. Good morning, child. Are you going to be my father now? I am your guardian. Though I'm a poor one for any child, I offer you is my... Is my Aunt Lily in this picture? Yes. Yes, it is. Where did you get this? It was on my dress from India. Maybe Mother put it there. I don't know. Your mother is my... I see. Lily, you've been dancing with that gloomy Archibald all evening. He's just a shy mood. I think Archie has the tenderest heart I've ever known. Silly Lily, have you been so busy looking into his eyes that you missed the hump on his back? I do hope you enjoy the gardens. But I want to know what happens to dead people. Yes. Well, it's quite natural you should wonder that. We bury them. We put that things away, we remember things they said. We talk to them sometimes, in our minds, of course. Can they hear us? And then, one morning when we think we're over them at last, we find ourselves in the ballroom, knowing full well we've been there all night. And we come to the painful conclusion that we've been dancing with them again. I don't understand. Nor will you ever, child. They're not gone, you see. Just dead. Is my Aunt Lily a ghost now? Why? Have you heard her? I heard someone crying in the house last night. But I don't know anything about ghosts. Is my father a ghost now? Can everyone who dies become a ghost? They're only a ghost if someone alive is still holding on to them. Maybe what I heard was the mother telling me to be nice. So you'll keep me. This house is haunted, child. Day and night. But it is yours to live in for as long as I am master here. I offer you my deepest sympathies upon your arrival. Did my mother have any other family? Somewhere. A little hole for what? 
Why, you and me are a good bit alike. We're neither of us good looking, and we're both as sour as we look. <laughs> I saw that problem again today. Well, of course you did. There never was this like for being meddlesome. He's the real head gardener around here. He comes chirping at me to come see some bush that he's rooted. I know where he lives, too. It's that walled garden with a tall hedge all around it, and no door, and that funny tree sticking out over the top of the wall. I think that tree is the same one my Aunt Lily is sitting in in this picture. Am I right? Ah, that's where Miss Lily's garden. Her garden? But I want to see it. Could you show me the door? No, I can't. When your Aunt Lily died, your Uncle Archibald ordered that no one were ever to go in that garden again and bury the key. And now the ivy's grown up over the door such that even I don't know where it is anymore. But aren't you worried that the garden is all dead with no one taking care of it? Well, of course I am, but if I so much as step one foot in Maybe there... Maybe the real reason the Robin is jumping at you is he wants you to climb over his garden and work on it. Well, maybe he does, but I can't go losing my job on the advice of some bird. And the same goes for you, too. My Uncle Archie said... Your Uncle Archibald isn't around much these days. And who's to say what might, what might happen if he weren't here to stop it? Do you believe in spirits? Well, a place like this, more of them, there are of us. I heard crying in the house again last night. That could well be a spirit, you heard. It's like a tall ceiling and a long hallway to swoop around in. An Indian one. I thought fear Pull a big dead snake, right up out of the last city, and make him dance. I bet you think you've seen just about everything, Missy. Except the inside of that garden, and you keep it that way, you hear me? Good day, Ben. <laughs> Speak low. 
and wild things is about. You mean you're here all the time? Well, if something is sick, I take a look at it. Sure, I do. And find the ponies that wander off and the eggs that go out of the nests. But look here. The mother sends to a penny for the seeds, be it God. There's cotton by the poppies by the handful. I don't have a garden. Well, don't you want one? One of your own, I mean. Come look at your seed, why don't you? Well, if you don't want them, I'll... I want you to go in that garden where the robin lives. Oh, but he's making his nest, Mary. And he can't afford to have you interfere if you're not friendly. How do you know that? Well, because we were just talking about you. How do you think? He was talking to, or just you. Oh, what he thinks is that you're looking for a nest yourself. Only well, it looks to him like your nest would have to be pretty big. Have you ever been in there? Well, it's not mine to go into, Mary. But it might be yours, I can't say. He's been keeping it safe for somebody, that much I know. He has? Well, same way as the ivy's grown over by the door. But maybe that robin is waiting to hear why you want to go in there exactly. Then he's got the safest nesting spot in all England. He's wise to be wary. Can you tell them I'm friendly? Well, I could. But what if you wanted to tell him something and I wasn't here? It'd be much quicker if you learned to talk to him yourself. But what could I say that he would understand? Well, I wouldn't mention you were an agenter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but are you interested in flying, perhaps? For bugs? I'm afraid not. Well, then, just tell them about yourself, and I'll translate into Yorkshire for you. Tell you the way of it. I'm... She... I'm a girl. She is a lass. Has took a greatly fancy to thee. Does thy fear? That will not fear. She took the unprovided to vex thee. Now to the sort. Now to the sort. She knows fair well she will not fright thee. Can ever show me? Fair better to know her. Show me the key. Show her the key. She is a lass, and thou art right to see the spot where she can rest in. I'm a chick who are wrong, not me, so can you not? Now to the sword. She'd better be watching for the spring. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance, I only be calling good morning and grandma walk me. Well done, Mary. Lily, what are you looking for? Wait till you see it. It's the most beautiful garden I ever. Then you'll be there to it is such a But the door is still covered over with ice and I can never find it. Wait, maybe it's on the other side.
Because she reminds you of Lily. You can't be serious. I can see the resemblance myself. Although Lily's hair was much more... You are very kind to take the child in, Archie, but in your state it is simply too much. If you allow the girl to stay here, to grow up here, I have no doubt your dreams, to say the very least, will get even worse. But can't you see the girl is lonely now? Perhaps I should have more conversations with her. I don't think that's wise, Archie. I'll be too bad. Until you are ready to send the girl to a school, she needs my professional advice that you continue to obey your natural instincts and avoid the girl. Archie? I can just have your signature on these leases. The flowers bloom, but is the bounty what she needs? How can she change? She not know the earth is old and doesn't carry one small girl wants things to grow. She needs a friend, she needs a father, brother, sister, mother's arms. She needs to 
too long. It scares me so. Then if I went to sleep, I'm afraid I might not wake up. Then close your eyes. I will do my eye to do in India. I will pat your hand and stroke it. And say something quite low. And I use such terrible dreams. I have bad dreams too. Last night, I dreamed about my father. Only he had this lump on his back like your father. And then, when he turned around, he was the father. Oh. 
a big old house with something wrong inside it. Spirits haunt the halls and make no effort now to hide it. And the master hears the whispers on the stairways dark and still. And the spirits speak of secrets in the house upon the She goes where she wants to go and does what she wants to do. I cannot hope to succeed with Colin's treatment if she is allowed to sneak into his room and disturb him. You must send her away before she undoes everything that we have tried to do. I can't send her away, devil. She's got no one on earth but me. Can't you keep her outside? She likes the gods, I believe. What are you doing, Archie? I'm leaving, devil. You have things well in hand here. Well in hand? Haven't you heard anything that I have just and said? last night, I dreamed that I walked, walked through the maze to Lily's car. I saw Mary and Lily standing there, Mary, right there in Lily's car. I couldn't watch. I had to turn away. I was afraid. Why can't he say what he wants? Why must he speak in dreams? Why can't he see what he wants? To disappear it seems He should send this haunted girl far away Leave the house and lands to me
No one go in and look in college. Just see that you don't wake him. In ten years, have I ever wake him? I will gather the staff so that you can for see. For God's sake, no! Just let me slip away! I'm sorry. Just tell them to be what to tell them. Find you, Lord. 
why are you in such a bad temper? Are you weary of looking for the key? No, no, I found the key. You did? So I see. You're weary of looking for the door. I'm not weary, Dickon. I found the door, too. The garden is dead. No. It is. It's all dead. Mary, a lot of things that look dead are just five minutes time. Now you tell me exactly what you saw. It's cold and gray. The earth is gray. The trees are gray. And there's a gloomy kind of haze over everything. Like a body were in a dream. It's the most forgotten place I've ever seen. Looks gray branches look all about the trees, like ropes of snakes. And dead roots and leaves all tumbled up on the ground. So still and cold. But did you take a real close look at anything? Did you scrape away a bit of bark and have a real look at anything? Mary, the strongest roses will that thrive on being neglected. If the soil is rich enough, they'll run all wild and spread and spread to their wonder. You mean, it's nice to be alive, but how can we tell? Oh, I can tell if the thing's wick. Wick? I can then say wick.
No, it's not. It's not there. You were just mad at me for not coming back when I said it would. Weren't you? Maybe. You were, and you know it. We'll leave you two alone, I think. I'm sorry. I said all those things about sending Dickon away. I was just so angry when you wanted to be with him instead of me. And then when you didn't come back like you said, I was always like, coming back, Colin, and as lonely as you are. It just took me longer than I thought. Because what? Will you promise not to tell if I tell you? I never had a secret before, except that I wasn't going to grow up. I found your mother's garden. Do you mean a secret garden? I dreamed about a secret garden. It's been locked up out there, just like you've been locked up in here for 10 years. Your father didn't want anyone in it. Only I found the key. And the other night, after Dr. Craven and Mrs. Mella found us here together, I ran out into the store and found the door. And now Dickon and I are working on it every day, and you can go to and What does it look like? Well, right now, there's this tangle of vines over everything, because no one's been taking care of it. But Dickon says, if we cut away all the dead wood, there will be thousands of rows of white summer. I never wanted to see anything like I want to see that garden. You must see it, but they must never know where we're going. Our Ben says, Dr. Payton will send me away. No, Mary. Maybe William can take you outside in your wheelchair. Then, when no one's looking, Dickon can push you through the maze and to the garden. I can't go outside, Mary. I'll take a chill if I go. I'll get even worse. No, you won't. You'll feel better. I can't, Mary. I'm afraid. I've been in this bed for so long, and I don't want to die. Just one black snake and this girl. I'm afraid there's no one left. I'm sorry, miss. I want you for what, Mary? So I can't get sick. I'd like to see the garden. Really, I would, but I can't. All right, then. We'll just keep working on it until you're ready to see it. And whenever that is, you just tell me, and I'll give you. You must come back tomorrow after noon, after you're through working, and have supper with me, and tell me everything that you've done. I'd like that. Good night, then. Good night, Mary. <laughs>
who tends the garden. Well, Esther, do you know who I am? You're young Master Cullen, the poor cripple. But Lord knows how you got out here. I'm not crippled. Then what you been doing let hiding out and letting folk think you were a cripple? And half-witted. Half-witted. Come down here. I want to talk to you. And don't you dare say a word about this. I'm your servant, as long as I live, young master. Did you know my mother? Ah, uh, that I did. I was a right hand round the garden. Even now, I'm only kept on because she liked me. She said to me once, Ben, if I ever get ill, or if I go away, you must take care of my roses. And when she did go away, orders was no one was ever to come in these gardens again. But I come in anyway, till my back stopped me about two years ago. I want to know how she died. Uh, she was sitting up on that branch, and it broke, and I started her laboring with you. Only the fall had hurt her back. So she clung out to life till you were born. And she handed you into your father's arms and died. Is that why he hates me? Well, oh, I'm sure he doesn't hate you, lad. He doesn't even know you. Wait till he finds out deep in his dad. I don't want him to know anything about this. I don't want anything said to him till I'm well. Do you promise? It's getting to be a full-time job keeping track of all the secrets around here. This is a serious matter. Mary, take my hand. Deacon, Martha, you too, Ben. Do you swear by the charm in this garden that not one of you will mention a word of this to anyone until I'm completely well? I, I promise. Good then. So what do you want to see first? I want to see the roses. Show me where the roses will be. Oh, of course, Doctor. Perhaps she 
projection from photographs of the girls at their work. I've priced several examples of a fine length of the I hate you, you hot, ugly pig! That's why you don't do it. You look so special, full of rats and dirty men, and all anybody really does wear a trunk for. I hope you get hit by a lorry on the way home, and your ugly head blows up in a ditch and gets eaten by babies. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, and if I'm trying to ask you, I'm going to bite your arm and go away to that. Get out of here! Go away! Why are you still standing there? Are you quite amused to learn of your power? I didn't do anything. You locked him in his room. You may go. You don't want Colin to get well at all. You want him to die so you can have the power. You will leave Saturday week! that I want, how dare she make this claim? Isn't it clear what I want? To serve has been my aim. Still I have to wonder who I'd be if it all belonged to me. If they'd all disappear, I'd start again. I could be happy then, I'd live like other men. If they'd all disappear, I could be free, cut off from pain and loss, at last I'd be. No ghost. Could you 
Oh. 
not accept that in your grave you must remain. I hear your voice and tend to see a stranger's woman face. Must I wander on tormented flesh to place, to place, to place? Where can I go that you won't find me? Why can't I find a place to hide? Why do you want to haunt me? Every step you're there beside me. Why can't I rid you from my mind? Why did you have to want me? Won't you let me put my life behind me? How in the world, tell me how in the world can I live without your love? Why on the earth, tell me why on the earth should I stay now that you are gone?
Devil? What on earth is all of that noise? rooms in weeks. Mom, he sent his food. We ate in the garden. We ate enough for ten children. You did, did you? Oh, cakes and roasted eggs and fresh milk. It was all terribly confusing. After all of these years, it never was. Confusing, Neville. Why don't you take my flat in Paris and stay as long as you please? And then, perhaps you will allow me to help you reestablish your practice here in town if you like. So you can resume your life free from the enormous bed you carried on our behalf. Thank you, Archie. And will you stay home, I thought? Come, come look at you! It was Ben that kept it on like father until we could get here. I know it was against your orders, sir. Uh, As I remember, it was Lily that told you to take care of the garden, Ben. Well done. Thank you, sir. And it was Dickon who... Yes, yes, I can imagine. Dickon, if that is anything but we can... Sir, what is to become of our Mary? Clusters of crocodile. Mary. Here's your key. If you want it back, sir. I had nearly forgotten all this. It's hard. Everybody, no, it isn't. Three isn't very many people to remember at all. I should be able to remember three quite easily. Would I be one of them? Mary Lennox, for as long as you will have us, we are yours, Collins and I. And this, this is your home. And this, my lovely child, is your garden. 